Hi Litas, my name is Megan and I was asked to share with you today how I pack my sports bike for touring. Um, this is my own personal system that I did a lot of research on. Um, you don't have to go and invest in a bunch of new motorcycle gear and spend a lot of money. You can utilize what you already have. But for this purpose, I really, or for this specific bike, I really wanted something low profile that was simple to pack and unpack and that didn't compromise the integrity of the riding style of the bike. So I'm gonna run through how I pack my bike. Um, first, I wanna preface this with, I'm a firm believer in using whatever you already have as far as bags, straps, bungee cords. Um, you don't need to go out and buy a whole bunch of new motorcycle gear to pack up your bike and, and tour with it. For my specific needs, I wanted a system that was simpler to pack and unpack as well as to not affect the integrity of the riding style of my bike. So I did invest some money into this and made some modifications to my bike, but they were cost effective and um, pretty simple to do. So we'll start with that. My uh, This is my 2018 Yamaha MT-07 which is formerly the FZ07. These bikes haven't changed too much in the last five years, so gear is pretty easy to find for them. I started with adding a windscreen. Most windscreens on sports bikes are aesthetic and I wanted something to block the wind a little bit better and so I got this Pruig windscreen, pretty affordable. Um, then I moved on to, for my saddle bat, or sorry, then, then my tank bag, which is a Nelson Riggs tank bag, which I will also go over um, all the gear, um, which is strapped on um, because a lot of bikes, especially modern sports bikes, are plastic and not metal. So uh, t tank bags that have magnets in them won't work. So you need the ones that have the straps. I wanted a little bit more space to move around in and stretch out on, on on long rides, so I got a rack. It's not entirely necessary, but I recommend it. It gives you more space. It also gives you more connecting points for straps. Then my saddle bags, um, which I'll, I'll explain more later, or I'll show you later, uh, require these mounts that were really easy to put on. They just go behind you just remove your passenger pegs and they just hook on behind there, but they are necessary and they are a separate cost from the saddlebags. So that is bas the basic modifications I had to do for this bike in order to prepare it for uh, the system that I chose. <coughs> Packing up your sports bike for touring. Um, this is everything I pack on my bike. Uh, I like to keep it light and just the necessities, but you can feel free to pack whatever you want, bring whatever you want. It's your party. Um, just make sure that you leave a little extra spare room for things that you pick up along the way, such as food. Um, I like to start with my dry bag. This is what I put on the rack of my bike. I put this on the rack of my bike because it's not something that I'm going to try to get into or that I need access to uh, while on the road. So what's in here is all my camping supplies. I have uh, my tent, a nice lightweight compression sleeping bag, which I would strongly recommend investing in. I have an inflatable sleeping pad, an inflatable pillow, and a small blanket. I like to keep a blanket with me just so I can lay it out when I get to camp and lay all my supplies out on it while I unpack and set up camp. It also is great for stopping by the river or a lake or hanging with your friends or for the obvious component of warmth. The next are my saddlebags. Uh, these are Yamaha saddlebags that fit my bike specifically. I like them because they are low profile. They are a 14 liter bag that expand out to uh, 21 liters with just the zipper. If you're unsure of how much size you're gonna need, what I did was I just brought in all my camping gear and into a dealership and used their bags that they were selling and, and saw how much space that I would need or how much space that I didn't need. So 14 liters works really well for me um, and it keeps it down pretty low profile and nice and, and tight. So um, on to what I pack into this ba these bags. Clothing is the bulkiest uh, item that you're gonna pack. So I like clothing that is, has a dual function. So I like to usually wear my, when I'm riding, to like wear my overalls 
or my mechanic suit. Um, and then I just put my gear on underneath them. And then when I get to camp, I can take my gear off and then I'm, I have a comfy outfit to wear at camp. As far as my gear goes, I like it pretty lightweight, but obviously functional for your safety. So I use these Icon Field Armors. They are um, Kevlar as well as D3O. They're really thin. They fit under your, your jeans. They offer abrasion, abrasion as well as impact protection. The shirt that I really like is my armored shirt, is my Knox. It's made by Knox. It's really lightweight, super comfortable, has D3O in it, um, great for summer riding. Um, it does not have any abrasion resistance, so I recommend maybe putting on your abrasion protection, like a, a jacket. So that's what I ride in and what I end up wearing at camp. Uh, for the rest of my clothes at camp, I like to put in their own individual bags. It's just easy to grab as well as um, keep organized. So you can use Ziploc bags or any other kind of bag that you have that uh, compression bags are great. I personally use the bags that my bike covers come in. Uh, I have a lot of these and they get down really small and I can pack a lot into them. So in this bag I have a pair of leggings, um, a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, four pairs of underwear, a beanie, a bra, and two pairs of riding socks, as well as one thick pair of socks for sleeping in. So that's what's in this bag. And then when packing your saddlebags, you wanna of course make sure that you evenly distribute the weight. So that one's gonna go in that one. And then I also like to have my unexpected weather bag. So in here are clothing that's gonna help me if the weather changes drastically. So I have a base layer of wool long johns, a long sleeve compression shirt, a reflective raincoat, rain pants, a extra pair of thick socks, and an extra pair of cold weather riding gloves, as well as those uh, hot hands that break up and you can put inside your gloves or in, you know, in the back of your jeans. Um, so that's what I keep, and I always like to carry that with me because you never know. <laughs> Also speaking of unexpected weather, these bags are not waterproof. Um, so they do, but they do come with these rain covers. So you can just keep them all organized in the, these little pockets that they provide. So the last piece of clothing is my ever reliable hoodie. I like to just keep that out. So in case I need it while riding and it gets cold, so. Pack that. Um, my toiletry kit, it's pretty simple. Um, just the necessities, you can pack whatever you want that makes you feel good. Um, body wipes, which are always great. I like to take those out of the package that they come in and put in a Ziploc bag so they compress down pretty small. Um, yeah, so I'll pack that. Um, your fun flask or whatever the equivalent to your fun flask is. I like to bring that. The mess kit. You don't have to go out and buy some fancy camp store mess kit. I like to just find what you already have at your house that you can use that will work for this purpose. I have my little hydro flask for cold things, warm things. Um, I have my flatware that I like to wrap up in a little towel just to use as like a napkin as well as to like wash your dishes later. And then I have my dish with high sides so it functions as both a bowl and a plate. And I like to keep it all kind of in one little bag. Now this I don't normally pack but sometimes if I'm camping I will and it's just a little pot basically for hot water and, it come, and I pack my little camping stove in it. So it's small so if I do want to bring it it doesn't take up that much room and I can have it if I need it. Now the tank bag is what I carry all my necessities in and things that I need access to while I'm on the ride. Um, it's also something when, you, when you're packing your tank bag to think about is these are the items that you want in your tank bag are the items that you want to grab 
and take with you if you have to abandon your bike. So I have sunscreen, it's always important. Some bug spray, I just keep those in the side pocket so they're easy to access for when I need them. Um, snacks, I also like to keep my biker registration as well as my emergency contact card. If, let's see, and then a cheap pair of sunglasses. This is important because if you're like me, I lose them, I break them. So I like to have a cheap pair of sunglasses that I just keep with in my tank bag always. I have a notepad, I have some chapstick and a pen. This is my first aid kit. I just made it from items that I have in my house. It has hand sanitizer, um, band-aids, neosporin, alcohol wipes, aloe vera, um, earplugs, which I find are really important on camping trip for when you're trying to sleep and people want to do burnouts at 2 a.m. So um, that's the first aid kit. Um, also electrolyte tabs are great. Um, it's a little kickstand um, for if the ground's soft. You can find a lot of these. You can also use a can or find a flat rock, but these are free. So if you're at any kind of moto event, there's a lot of free loot around. I like to just grab it. It's good to have. Um, so you can use that as a kickstand stop. Um, and what's important is your knife if you're not carrying it on you. I like to keep that in my bag. I also like to keep some fire in my bag, so I bring a lighter, or you can bring some matches. There's also some snacks. Um, bottle opener or wine key, because not all good gas station wine is twist off. So I like to bring that with me. Next item is my kit for cleaning my motorcycle visor on the side of the road. Usually I just use water and a microfiber cloth. Um, I have a little spray bottle in here that is just water and a small dab of um, dishwashing soap. So um, just spray it on there, you then buff it out with a dry microfiber cloth. It's good to have off the side of the road. I always like to keep my travel towel in my tank bag in case it's raining, I need to wipe off my bike, or if we stop by a lake, then I have it to dry off. Um, so I like to keep that in there. You want your tool roll? You can put that anywhere on your bike. I just keep mine in my tank bag, but I always carry extra zip ties because those are pretty important. Then my tech bag. So my tech bag, I like to keep uh, my charger, which is an all adapter charger. This thing's pretty great. It's got all the different kinds of adapters that you need. It's slim. It holds the charge really well and I can use it for pretty much all my my gear that I bring. So I like to have that. I also have a charge rechargeable headlamp, which is great for camping or if you have to work on your motorcycle on the side of the road, as well as an extra set of earbuds. For fun, I like just to bring my portable speaker. I also like to bring an extra compression bag. Um, I think it's great to have extra bags because if I stop and get food or groceries along the way, I can put them in this bag and it can easily just go right into my, my saddle bags. The ever so important bandana. Um, if you're not carrying it in your back pocket, it's great for you know, snot rag, sweat rag, air conditioning, dip it in water tied around your neck while you're riding, scarf, always bring that. And that's everything that goes into my tank bag. Also, I recommend printing out routes or having maps to go um, on your tank bag in case technology isn't always so kind in the middle of nowhere, then you, you have that as backup. Um, you can even put pictures of your cat on there while you travel, so. That's what I keep in there. Um, this is my camel pack. Just strap that on your bag, on your back. I like to have water easily accessible. I don't, I personally don't like to have a water bottle in a bag to pull over a reach. Um, so I like to have my, my camel pack bag, but you can easily use your bags for that. And then your emergency gas. And that is everything that I pack on this bike. And now I'm gonna show you how I pack it all up. So now that you have all your gear packed up, we're gonna 
mount it onto the bike. Um, first I'm going to start with the tank bag. Like I said earlier, since it's a plastic tank, it uh, requires the straps and they easily just clip on. They loop into the frame of your bike and just clip right in and then you can tighten them down and it stays really secure. The next thing I'm going to strap on are the saddlebags. Remember that you packed them um, so the weight's evenly distributed. The saddlebags have these little loops that the mounting brackets uh, slide right into and then it clips right in um, right behind here on the bracket. So this, si this one goes on this side so I slide it right in and let it kind of hang a little while I clip it on. that one onto the other side. So I like to pull this pretty tight because this is where you're going to Velcro it on so it stays good and secure and close to the body of the bike. So now that they're all on, when you start adjusting around, those mounts are going to prevent them from flapping around and keep everything nice and secure. So the last thing that I add is all my camping gear and my dry bag on my rear rack. Again, I'm using these rock straps um, instead of bungees, but bungees are completely fine. Um, just lay it right on top. I also like to put my extra gas on the outside. Um, some people like to hook the the little gas tanks on their bike. I personally don't like them flopping around. Um, if they come loose and you lose your bottle and then gas spills everywhere, I like to have it a little bit more secure. Plus it's really annoying when you're riding and it's just clinking around. So that nice and tight. Again, it's not the prettiest job, but um, everything's pretty secure or really secure. Um, like to tuck in all your straps because when that wind gets going then these start flapping around and they they whip you and it actually it really hurts so I like to get them all tied in and hidden so they're not flapping around and that's it so that's it that's everything on there securely one extra thing that I would pack would be a spare key because there's nothing worse than losing your keys in general on your motor for your motorcycle, but losing them when you're in the middle of nowhere. So I do keep a spare key somewhere in kind of like a nice hidden spot um, or maybe your tank bag, but just some place that you know that you won't lose it and that it's safe. So that's it. And I hope that was helpful. Thank you.